Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the Joe and Barbara Schwartz Center, your home of the Cape Fear Sea Devils. Cape Fear men will take their 14 and 8 record and be tested at home here this afternoon against the Spartanburg Methodist Pioneers. Pioneers come into this game. Pioneers come into this game 15 and 11 overall. They have won one straight, five and seven in conference. On the other side, Cape Fear, eight and five in conference. Both teams still trying to battle and get in the top four of the conference standings. Cape Fear in third place, a chance to move up a spot if they can win here tonight and end up potentially ahead of Brunswick Community College in the win column if they can win here tonight, excuse me, this afternoon. We'll see if they're able to. Cape Fear coming off that tough, tough loss their last time out here at home at least. They are coming off a win on the road. Excuse me, that win was here, my apologies. That loss was to Caldwell Community College on the 16th, then they won here on the 17th, and that took their record up to 14 and seven. That tip is won by Spartanburg Methodist, and Khalil Marshall chases it down and blocks it from behind. Good start defensively for Cape Fear as Khalil Marshall credit him for the block to start the game. Starters for Cape Fear, Avion Pinner with the basketball. He'll drive, almost loses the handle, kicks it out to Truman Clater. Joined by Khalil Marshall, Moses Tufts, and Corey Richardson. First three-point attempt from Marshall was blocked. On the other end for Spartanburg Methodist starters, Major Freeman, one of the best players you'll see in Region 10, has the basketball but gives it up. Pass into the post, double team comes. Good defense from Pinner. Drive, turn around, floater, no good. Offensive rebound though, kicks it out. Loose ball grabbed up by Major Freeman. Trying to post up number 25, Jawan Nichols once again. They swing it, three on the way, no good. Tip, no good. Rebound, Truman Clater. Starters, Major Freeman, to Kobe Staggs, Jordan Trahan, Kennedy Aiken Shannon, and Jawan Nichols. Man-to-man -man defense alignment here to start things off for the Pioneers. Wide open, oop. And Moses Tufts knows what to do with it and finishes the dunk. Early 2-0 lead for Cape Fear. Give the assist to Corey Richardson. Looks like that foul is going to be called on Marshall. First foul on Khalil Marshall, first foul on the team. In the hands of Staggs, he gives it up to Freeman. As mentioned, Major Freeman overall, one of the better players you'll see in Region 10, averaging over 15 a game. Two quick turnovers here for the Pioneers. 2-0 Cape Fear leads, just under 18 minutes to go here in the first half. Pinner. Gives it up to Clater. Clater towards the top of the key. Gives it up to Marshall. Marshall, guarded by number 15, Staggs. Drives, gets around him. High floater is good. Nice play there by Khalil Marshall. High off the glass, gets it over the taller Jawan Nichols, who challenged that shot in the paint. Nichols, other end, he'll pull up. Jumper, no good. Rebound, Corey Richardson. Richardson is fouled on the rebound attempt. Will stay Sea Devils basketball. Nine. 
as mentioned, Major Freeman for the Pioneers, averaging over 15 a game, not even the high score for the Pioneers. Their highest scorer, who's top five in the conference, averaging over 18 a game, is Kalon Hudson. He'll check in, I'm sure, be one of the first off the bench for the Pioneers. Marshall, deep three, got it! Give the assist to Truman Clater. The Sea Devils off to a hot start here. Marshall, perfect from the field thus far. Got a good drive and finish along with a made three here to start things off for the Sea Devils. Count the bucket. Foul is on number two, Avion Pinner. Pinner, his first foul here in the first half. Be the first substitution. We'll see one of those bench players. Leading scorer for the Pioneers, number 11, Kalon Hudson checks in for Spartanburg Methodist. As mentioned, he's averaging over 18 a game. Young man's top five in conference in score. Clater gets around his defender, kicks it out to Marshall. Marshall with it now on the right wing. Looks to dribble drive, kicks it out to Tufts. Tufts, pull up, jumper no good. Rebound Hudson of the Pioneers, and he has it tipped out of bounds. Possession will stay with the Pioneers. pass trying to get it into the paint Nichols has to go get it drives right on Pinner and finishes Richardson brings it up kicks it to Marshall Marshall back to Pinner Pinner drives kicks it out to Tufts the foul called there on Pinner Pinner will get car charged Called for the charge. That's his second quick foul here early in this first half. He'll have to exit to the bench. It'll be Daniel Lumbamba that checks in for him. Lumbamba comes in, gets the rebound right away there. And they'll push the pace. Three from Clater, no good. Clater misses his first shot of the game. Good drive and finish there. That's Jordan Trahan. A good reverse up and under for the bucket. Ties this game at seven. Clater with it baseline. Thought about the turnaround jumper. Kicks it back out to Richardson. He'll pull the trigger from deep. No good. Long rebound to Major Freeman. Seven all here. Entry pass out, stolen, loose ball, out of bounds off of Marshall. Another one of the better players here for Spartanburg Methodist. That'll be Isaiah Porter checking in for the Pioneers. Timeout called by head coach Moynihan. It'll be a 30 second timeout, so we'll stay put. We'll be right back. More first half action here live from the Schwartz Center.
Stolen away there by Clater. He'll get the steal. Richardson gets the offensive rebound and put back off the Moses Tufts miss. Cape Fear able to take advantage of that steal there by Moses Tufts. Daniel Lumbamba, the one that initially deflected that. Richardson will get that steal. They'll run. Clater with it on the assist from Marshall. Bucket is good. Pioneers trying to run on the other end. That foul is called on number one, Khalil Marshall. That'll be his second foul of the first half. Media timeout. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back here live from the Schwartz Center, your home of the Sea Devils. Out of bounds, possession will stay with the Pioneers. Cape Fear up four. Inbound goes to Lon Hudson. Three attempt, no good. Rebound by Kyler Harris, who checked in at that last dead ball. Plater for three, got it. On the assist from Lou Bamba. Later, a big three-point bucket there. One of two to start from deep. Cape Fear clicking on all cylinders here early. 13.30 to go here in the first half. Cape Fear has doubled up the Pioneers, 14 to seven. Shot, floater is good from Kalon Hudson. That's a good example of why this young man's averaging 18 a game. Three from Clater is good. Truman Clater, that's his second made three of this first half. Drive, shot attempt, no good, but Isaiah Porter draws the foul. He'll go to the line to shoot two. That foul was called on Daniel Lubamba, his first foul of the game. It's already five team fouls here for Cape Fear. Just one for Spartanburg Methodist. Looks like Jalen Jefferson will check in at this next dead ball. Jefferson checks in for Corey Richardson. Also in the game, Krishan Ori checked in for the Pioneers. Still have yet to see Colin McKenzie in this game for the Pioneers. McKenzie, the number one three-point shooter in the conference, shooting over 50% a game. That's another foul. Later picks up his first foul of the game. Major Freeman will check back in here.
Trahan will check out for Spartanburg Methodist. He looked like he fell awkwardly on his knee there and a good inbound play there results in an easy bucket from Hudson. It's Kalon Hudson, a couple baskets here over the last couple minutes, keeping the Pioneers in it down 17-11, Sea Devils up. Tyler Harris thought about a three, he'll drive instead, picks up his dribble, almost throws it away, but Lubamba able to hold on to it. Harris with it, pulls up three, no good. Rebound Hudson, Pioneers with it. Three from Freeman, no good, but a big rebound by Nichols, loses it, gets it back. And Jawan Nichols, the 6'8 freshman from Scranton, Pennsylvania, having his way in the post there on that possession. That three is no good from Lubamba on the other end. Pioneers will push it. Hudson with it. Kicks it out. Porter with it. Gives it back to Nichols. And Nichols is working in the post right now. Back-to-back -back buckets for Jawan Nichols. A little too easy for him right now. As he's having his way in the paint thus far. Carver drives out to Lubamba. To Jefferson. Jefferson dribbling a little too much. Loses it. Hudson with it. Jefferson chases him down. Good defense and blocks the shot. Out of bounds. Good hustle by Jalen Jefferson after the turnover. We'll get charged with the turnover, but big block by Jefferson. Ori with it, dribble handoff to number 20. Taylon Manson checked in at that last dead ball. Porter drives, floater no good, rebound Moses Tufts. Jalen Jefferson brings it up, gives it up to Corey Richardson. On the wing, Jefferson for three, no good. Jefferson unable to hit the three. Tyler Harris tried to keep it alive there, did a good job keeping it alive, but unfortunately out. Freeman with it, guarded by Richardson, kicks it out to Hudson. Hudson with it now guarded by Harris, gets right around him, floater no good. Loose ball grabbed by Jalen Jefferson. Sea Devils try to push it, Richardson to Harris. They swing it, Carver with it on the wing, drives, goes right at his defender. That foul was called on number 20, Taylon Manson. Couple more substitutions for the Pioneers. Checking back in, Jordan Trahan, along with number 15, Takobi Staggs. Trahan provides a little bit more of that size for the Pioneers. As Nichols is on the bench now. Harris to Carver, Carver to Richardson on the wing. Richardson back to Carver. Carver drives, floater high off the glass is good. Noah Carver able to weave his way into the paint. That floater was high off the glass as Manson came to challenge that in the paint. Carver got it over top for the bucket. Ori with it, drives on Carver. Able to weave through that defense and get it in as well. Good play there by Christian Ori. Able to keep the deficit at two for the Pioneers. Richardson with it. Nice pass, but rejected out of bounds by Trahan. The defense there by Jordan Trahan. As Jefferson was a little lazy with that attempt, and Trahan said, get it out of here. Richardson with it now. Gives it up to Tufts. They swing it. Carver drives, goes right at his defender. Loose ball out of bounds. Pioneers basketball.
9.07 to go here in the first half. Sea Devils up to 19.17. Travel called. Just the third turnover for the Pioneers. Excuse me, the fourth turnover for the Pioneers here in the first half. Jefferson pull up, no good. Rebound Trahan. Loose ball. Who's going to get it? Out of bounds off a of Sea Devil. Possession will stay with the Pioneers. Still yet to see the best three-point shooter percentage-wise in conference play. Nice find by Freeman, and that's just too easy for Nichols. Jawan Nichols continues to get what he wants when he wants in the paint. Skip pass over to Tufts in the corner. Nice play by Moses Tufts. That's what Tufts is going to have to do against the bigger Nichols. Get him out away from the basket and drive on him. Able to take advantage of his speed there, but gambles on the steal there. And an offensive foul called. Moses Tufts gambled there, trying to steal it away from Nichols. Out on the wing, and Nichols drives and it's called for the charge. Good defense there by Noah Carver able to get in front of Nichols and draw the charge. Richardson will bring it up. Tufts thought about an entry pass into the paint. Carver does it, but an air ball from Clater. Clater's first miss from two. Hudson thought he had a teammate there. A couple turnovers on the last couple possessions for the Pioneers. Sea Devils up 21 19. Three from Richardson is good. Give the assist to Tufts. And Richardson hits the bucket, pushes the Sea Devils lead back up to five. 24 19, under seven minutes to go here in the first half. Trahan drives right on Richardson and finishes. Pioneers definitely have the size advantage in the paint. Cape Fear is going to have to take advantage of that by using their quickness and speed. Tufts with it. Trahan able to pop out on him. Nice find by Tufts. Finds Carver. Carver has him knocked out of bounds. Possession will stay with the Sea Devils. Media timeout coming here. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. Final 622 of the first half. Sea Devils up 24 21.
D-Devils basketball. Carver with it, drives, kicks it out to Jefferson. Jefferson with it now on the wing. And unaware of the shot clock there. Fortunately for Cape Fear, that'll be a turnover. Good deny by Richardson there as Freeman was trying to cut in the paint. Corey Richardson able to stay in front of him and prevent that pass. Freeman misses the first attempt, but two offensive rebounds by Hudson. Misses the first put back, but gets the second. Cuts the deficit to one. Sea Devils up 24-23. Tufts for three in the corner. In and out. No good. Hudson thought about pushing the pace, slows it down and gives it up to Trahan. Trahan, skip pass, corner three. No good, rebound Moses Tufts. Sea Devils like to push it off those rebounds. Spartanburg does a good job getting back on defense. Noah Carver called for the travel. Nichols checks back in for Spartanburg. Kennedy Aiken Shannon checks back into the game for the Pioneers. Nice drive. That's too easy for Jawan Nichols as he continues to have his way in the paint offensively. Other end, three in and out for Carver. Look good out of his hand, just rolls in and out. Stolen by Carver. He'll take it all the way. Can't finish. Clater there to try to finish. Clater unable to get the bucket. Got the offensive rebound. Noah Carver will check out. Tyler Harris checks in for Carver. Lubamba with it. Finds Clater. Clater drives. And finishes. Through the contact, Clater able to get the bucket on the drive. Good find by Lubamba as Clater cut from the wing. Gets the bucket. Freeman with it. Pioneers swing it. Stags on the drive out to Freeman. Freeman can't finish. Several bodies in the air there and a rejection by Clater. Truman Clater able to rise above everybody and get the block out of bounds. P possession back excuse me, possession will stay with the Sea Devils. Inbound goes to Freeman. Freeman will pull up, jumper, no good, rebound Lubamba, loses it, technically Richardson will get Credit for that rebound as Lubamba was unable to control it. Richardson drives, can't finish. As Nichols caught one in the jaw there, it looked like. Unable to challenge that second attempt. Still rubbing his chin a little bit there as he gets the basketball. Little drive goes right at Lubamba. And Lubamba called for the foul. Lubamba, that's his second foul, and that'll send Nichols to the line. One and one, the remainder of this first half. As you can see, Nichols 
Might be hard to see it from the broadcast, but he's still trying to stretch his jaw there. And hopefully he's okay as he did catch a elbow or a forearm from Richardson as he misses the first end. But a good rebound and put back by Hudson. Out to Harris. Harris loses it but gets it back. Turns it over there though. Now a two on one. And Hudson misses the flush. Freeman picks up the rebound and can't finish. Loose ball. Moses Tufts gets the rebound. Jalen Jefferson with it now. Swings it to Clater. Clater on the wing. Thought about a three. Pump fake. Gets around the defender. And the floater is good. Really good looking offense there from Truman Clater. He's bringing the big Nichols out there to guard him on the wing. About 20 feet away from the basket. And Nichols just not comfortable out there defensively. More of a rim protector for the Pioneers. Good recognition by Clater right there to drive and get the bucket. Good find by Hudson to a wide open Stags. His floater's good. It's been a back and forth game thus far. Spartanburg Methodist has not led once here in this first half, but they have not been down more than about six or seven. Now down just one. Clater for three, no good. Offensive rebound, Tufts. He'll go up with it. Plus the foul. Moses Tufts. Thirty second timeout called. Stay put, but we'll be right back with free throw from Tufts and a minute 19 left in the first half. Moses Tufts at the line, he'll shoot one, chance to finish that three-point play. Hits the free throw. That's the first made free throw of this first half. First attempted free throw of the first half for Cape Fear. Only a few on the Pioneer side as well, so clearly the officials are letting them play here through the first 20 minutes of this game. Drive, Stags finds Nichols. And once again, Nichols able to finish with ease over top of everybody. At 6'8 size, Cape Fear does not have an answer for that thus far. As Avion Pinner has been in foul trouble with two fouls on the bench for most of this first half. Carver cut off. Tough swings it. Jefferson on the wing. Jefferson looks to drive. He'll pull up. Jumper, no good. Seemed a little rushed. Jalen Jefferson 0 for 2 from the field to start this game. It's Trahan gives it up to Porter. Porter drives. And a good up and under from Isaiah Porter. Put the proper amount of English on that. Gets the roll. Seven seconds left in the first half. Richardson with it. Out to Tufts, Tufts for three. No good, rebound Carver, he'll get it off in time, cannot finish. 
That'll do it for the first half. That'll do it for the first half. Tied up at 33. We'll take a break. First half break, and we'll be right back. Second half here live from the Joe and Barbara Schwartz Center, your home of the Sea Devils.
And welcome back. Second half action underway here live from the Schwartz Center. Sea Devils and Pioneers tied. Pinner for three to start the second half. No good. And Avion Pinner, that's his first shot attempt of the game. He picked up two fouls early in the first half and did not play the remainder of the second, excuse me, the first half. Played only about two minutes of the first half and then had to go to the bench in foul trouble. It's been a back and forth game thus far. Spartanburg Methodist, a chance to take their first lead of this game, tied at 33. Leading scorer of the first half for the Pioneers, Jawan Nichols, 12 points. He has had his way offensively and an offensive foul called on Jawan Nichols. I believe that's Nichols, second foul on Nichols. And for the Pioneers, they're gonna need him to stay out of foul trouble. He has been a key cog on this offense for head coach Moynihan, Spartanburg Methodist. On the Cape Fear side, leading score in the first half for Cape Fear. 12 points for Truman Clater. And really single-handedly, he kept them in this game by making some efficient shots and forcing the bigs of the Pioneers to come out and guard him on the wing. Clater with it again, pull up jumper is good. As Truman Clater continues to be on fire from the field here in this game. Now we have 14 points, a game high, 14 points. That three in the corner, no good. Rebound Avion Pinner. Pinner gives it away though, trying to find Tufts. That'll be his first turnover of the game. Corner three, no good. Offensive rebound, Nichols kicks it out. And Pinner almost steals that and forces the turnover. Good play by Avion Pinner. That is the eighth turnover of this game for the Pioneers. He's Avion Pinner made his pres making his presence felt on the defensive end. It will be Cape Fear basketball. Moses Tufts will inbound to Corey Richardson. Back and forth, Pinner and Clater. Clater for three, no good. Rebound Richardson, can't finish. He was trying to one touch that. And an offensive foul called, another turnover, as they're trying to say he was in the restricted area. Unfortunately, we don't do replays here, so regardless of if he was or not, offensive foul called, another turnover forced. Clater with it, gives it up to Tufts. Tufts to Pinner, Pinner to Marshall. Marshall trying to bring Nichols out, dribbles it off his foot, out of bounds. Turnover, Sea Devils. First turnover of the game for Khalil Marshall. Definitely not happy with himself there. As he'll definitely make up for it on the defensive end as he does exactly that, gets the steal. And the finger roll, Galil Marshall showcasing his defensive prowess there as he made up for that careless turnover on the offensive end by the steal there and bucket, and that's too easy. On the other end as Nichols flushes with two hands, plus the foul. Foul is on Corey Richardson. That's Richardson's first foul. First team foul of the second half, 17-22 to go here in the second half. Nichols at the line, misses, rebound Moses Tufts. You can hear head coach Mark Lane telling his guys to run. 
He likes to get his guys downhill on offense. Tufts, one-handed, left-handed floater is good from Moses Tufts, having one of his better offensive games here in the season. Four of six from the field. Perfect one of one from the line and one of three from deep. Moses Tufts having himself a game offensively. Major Freeman with it on the other end. Gives it up to Hudson. Hudson back to Freeman. Freeman in the corner, hits it. Corner three from Major Freeman is good. As leading scorer on the season for the Pioneers. Gets on the board here for Spartanburg Methodist. Three from Porter, no, excuse me, from Tufts, no good. But a steal by Pinner, loose ball. Loose ball, Hudson on the ground. A lot of movement there. Jump ball called, possession will stay with the Pioneers. Couple substitutions for Cape Fear, Noah Carver and Daniel Lubamba. Lubamba and Carver check in here for the Sea Devils. Major Freeman will inbound, inbounds to Nichols. Nichols too easy, but misses the layup, gets his own rebound, has it stripped, and the steal by Noah Carver. Good defense there by Cape Fear as the double team came. Tufts throws that out of bounds, trying to find Lubamba. Tufts looking around, wondering why there wasn't a call, a lot of contact, but got to play through it there, and Tufts, his first turnover of the game. Eight turnovers for the Sea Devils here. Big time matchup here between Truman Clater and Nichols, even though it looks like Nichols is moving around now, guarded by Lubamba. Marshall trying to come out there and steal it. Almost a travel there, no call. Freeman, three, no good. Rebound Truman Clater. Marshall finds Clater. Clater out in the corner. Carver for three. Got it! Noah Carver. Noah Carver. That's what he needed to see right there to get his confidence going. Give the assist to Truman Clater, just under 15 minutes to go. Marshall guarding Major Freeman. Pass into the paint. Loose ball scooped up by Moses Tufts. Lou Bamba gives it up to Khalil Marshall. Marshall looks to drive out to Tufts for three. No good. Rebound Lou Bamba. Clater's three is no good. Clater missed his three point opportunity. Clater now two a six from three. Four a six from the field. Nichols with it. Calling for a teammate, gives it up to Freeman. Freeman thought about a three, kicks it out. Loose ball, stolen away by Marshall once again. Marshall finds Moses Tufts, Tufts with it. Floater no good, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. And Khalil Marshall hit, heating up on the defensive end. Two shots coming here for Tufts. As he tried to Euro step through the contact, was fouled on the shot attempt. He'll shoot two after this media timeout. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Moses Tufts at the free throw line when we come back.
Tufts at the line. Free throw number one is good. Tufts, the only player for the Sea Devils to attempt free throws here in this game thus far. Perfect two for two. Let's see if he can stay that way and he can't get the roll. First missed free throw of the game for Tufts. Trahan with it. Drives, shot. Not sure where Sea Devil touched that, but out of bounds. Possession will stay with the Pioneers. Trahan gets the inbound, throws it away though. Clater with the steal. Turnover by Cape Beer. That'll be a turnover on Truman Clater, his first of the game. Forty-three, thirty-eight. Sea Devils up. Up five. They've outscored the Pioneers eight to three here to start the second half. Shot no good. Excuse me. They've outscored them ten to five here to start the second half. Clater, excuse me, Carver for three. Got it. Splash. Noah Carver. Noah Carver with the three. Big bucket for Cape Fear. Timeout head coach Mark Lane of the Sea Devils will take a quick break and we'll be right back. For second half action when we come back. Double team, steal, Richardson can't finish. Lubamba there can't finish. Gets the offensive rebound and put back. Marsh, excuse me. The foul there is Richardson picks up the steal. Lubamba, a couple offensive rebounds there and the put back for his first bucket of the game. Cape Fear, a little full court pressure coming here as they've been double teaming, trying to trap. Drive baseline, out to Jordan Trahan. Trahan drives, can't finish. Loose ball, grabbed by a pioneer, and a wide open Ori finishes. It's Cape Fear unable to grab that with two hands. And Pioneers take advantage for the bucket. 48-40, Sea Devils up. Carver, bang, hits another one. Noah Carver hits his last two deep shots. Give the assist to Corey Richardson. Pushes the Sea Devils lead up to double digits. 11 point lead for Cape Fear, their biggest lead of the game. Drive baseline by Porter. Good finish there by Isaiah Porter. Tufts drives on the other end, a lot of contact, no call, out of bounds, possession will stay with the Sea Devils. Couple substitutions, Avion Pinner and Khalil Marshall check back in for Cape Fear. Nice inbound pass to Pinner, he can't finish, but Richardson gets the rebound and he will finish. Surprisingly, that was Pitter's first shot attempt of this game. That foul was called on Isaiah Porter. Full timeout. 
by head coach Moynihan. Under 12 to go. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Final 11-3, excuse me, the final 11-53 in the second half. Richardson at the line, chance to finish his three-point play, hits the free throw. And that is just the second different Sea Devil to attempt a free throw here tonight. Only four free throws attempted by Cape Fear here so far in this game. Drive, finish, good play there by Takobi Staggs. Cuts the deficit back down to 10. Sea Devil's up 54-44. Richardson with it, trying to go downhill there, gets the screen from Pinner, kicks it out in the corner to Carver. They swing it, ends up in the hands of Clater. Clater drives, finds Richardson, who finds Carver, who hits another three. Noah Carver on fire from three. He's got four made threes, three of them coming here in the second half. Give the assist to Corey Richardson once again. 13 point lead for the Sea Devils. Juwan Nichols checks back in for the Pioneers. A bad defense there by the Sea Devils. And that's stolen by Noah Carver. Carver's gonna push the pace. Kicks it out, Clater for three, got it! And the Sea Devils heating up from deep. Give the assist to Noah Carver there. Carver's first, first assist of the game. Nichols with it now. Sea Devils up 16, and Nichols unable to finish that, but rips the rebound right back, and Pinner with the block and steal. Richardson with it, drives, kicks it out. Chased down by Freeman, a three-on-one opportunity here for Spartanburg. Just over 10 minutes to go here in the second half. Cape Fear with their largest lead of the game, up 14. Pinner for three, no good. Offensive rebound by Richardson. Clater, his three is no good. Another bucket. Bucket was by Isaiah Porter. Excuse me, Nichols. Another bucket by Juan Nichols as he has single-handedly been a big chunk of the offense for the Pioneers. Truman Clater, step back, hits it. Truman Clater, big bucket, draws a timeout. We'll take a quick break, we'll be right back.
Pioneers basketball. Drive. A lot of contact. Foul on Tufts. First towel on first foul on Moses Tufts. That'll send Porter to the line to shoot two. Just the third team foul of Cape Fear here this afternoon in the second half. Second free throw, no good. Rebound, Moses Tufts. Carver with it, but he's going to have to slow it down. Did not have numbers. Carver with it. Looking to drive. Kicks it out to Pinner. Pinner with it. Out to Carver. Carver. Deep three. Misses that one. A little bit of a heat check there from Carver. He had been on fire from three. Another drive and finish by Isaiah Porter. Harris loses it. Pinner gets it back, though. A lot of contact. Pinner on the spin move tries to kick it out. That foul was called on Jordan Trahan. Sixty-two fifty-one, still a double-digit point lead for Cape Ear. Excuse me. Substitution. Hudson checks back in for the Pioneers. Somebody lost a shoe. Still not a, still not a stop in play. Not sure why they have not. That is a liability on the court. Definitely a hazard, too, for the players. Carver does his thing once again. Able to create separation. Hits the jumper. As Noah Carver is on fire from the field currently. Sixteen points for Noah Carver. 12 of those coming here in the second half. 13 point lead for Cape Fear. Drive and uh, unable to finish was Trahan, but there to clean it up was Nichols. As Jawan Nichols continues to dominate the paint for the Pioneers. Richardson behind the back pass to Pinner. Pinner tries to Cross court corner pass is stolen. Freeman with it. And Major Freeman knows exactly what to do there and takes it coast to coast for the bucket. Lead back under 10 for Cape Fear. Richardson out to Carver. Carver almost travels there, gives it up to Pinner. Pinner cannot finish. Pinner has been cold offensively here for Cape Fear. 0 for 4 from the field. That's a turnover by the Pioneers. Twelve turnovers now for the Pioneers. Corey Richardson will bring it up over half court for Cape Fear. Guarded by Major Freeman. Kicks it out to Carver. Carver on the right wing. Dribbles back towards the top of the key. Kicks it to Marshall on the left wing. Marshall with it. Thought about a three. Gets by his defender. Gets right by Trahan. That's Leo Marshall. Showcase it is dribbling skills too there as he got right around Trahan. 
on that hesitation on the three, gets right around him and draws the foul. Substitution for Cape Fear, Noah Carver comes in, excuse me, Daniel Lubamba checks in for Noah Carver. Richardson loses the handle, Trahan scoops it up and he'll push the pace. Basket interference. Pioneer's gonna pressure a little bit here, down seven. Six, 10 left in this game. That fouls on Jordan Trahan. Fourth foul on Trahan, and he'll have to check out. Marshall will go to the line. Sea Devils will be in the bonus for the remainder of this game. On the other side, only three team fouls for Cape Fear. So still a little bit of ways to go for them as Marshall hits his first free throw. Second free throw, no good. Loose ball, tipped out of bounds. Possession will stay with the Sea Devils. Eight point lead for Cape Fear. Spartanburg Methodist still not out of it. Hudson guarding Marshall. Thought about a three, kicks it out to Clater. Clater will pull the trigger, no good. Long rebound into the hands of Porter, he'll take it coast to coast. And he's fouled by Truman Clater. Just a second foul on Truman Clater. Isaiah Porter at the line. Just under six minutes to go here in regulation. First free throw up and good from Porter. Rebound Lubamba. Loose ball out of bounds. Lubamba checks out. Pinner checks back in on the court for Cape Fear. Avion Pinner, Moses Tufts, Noah Carver, Khalil Marshall. And a good defense, excuse me, good offensive play there. Khalil Marshall will get the assist. But good team offense right there as Avion Pinner gets his first bucket of the game. That'll be the third foul on Khalil Marshall. 5.34 to go here in regulation. Moses, it's tough, it's almost got the steal there. Nice pass, no look, fine from Isaiah Porter. Moses Tufts had his hands on it to try to get that steal. We'll take a quick break. Be right back with the final 527 in the second half.
Carver brings it up over half court and gives it up to Khalil Marshall. Pinner with it now, gives it up to Carver. Carver to Moses Tufts. Tufts right at the top of the key. Swings it to Marshall for three. Short, rebound, Nichols, Spartanburg, Methodist, basketball. Marshall 0 for 2 from 3 in today's game. Major Freeman with it now guarded by Noah Carver. Freeman loses it out of bounds. Good defense by Carver. Able to guard without fouling there. Major Freeman wanted an explanation. Either way, it's a turnover by the Pioneers. Inbound goes to Noah Carver. Carver with it. He'll try to get downhill over half court, does so. Picks up his dribble, finds Moses Tufts. Tufts drives, wide open opportunity, no good, but Avion Pinner there for the putback. Four twenty-five to go here in the second half. Sea Devils up nine. Pioneers sticking around though. Drive, floater is good. Good shot by Takobi Staggs. Able to cut the deficit back down to seven. Moses Tufts gets it over half court to Cleo Marshall. Marshall fouled again. I believe that's the fifth foul, fifth foul. It's the fifth foul on Trahan. And Trahan's been a big part of the big, the bigs in the paint for the Pioneers. And he will foul out at the 4.02 mark left in the second half. That'll be a big loss for the Pioneers down the stretch here as Marshall hits the first free throw. As mentioned, Khalil Marshall, Moses Tufts, the only players for the Sea Devils thus far to attempt free throws. Second free throw from Marshall is good. Marshall, four or five from the free throw line. Moses Tufts, the only other Sea Devil to attempt a free throw. He is two of three from the free throw line. Krishan Ori brings it over half court. Gives it up to Staggs. Staggs to Ori. Ori drives. A lot of contact. It was rejected out of bounds. By Richardson. Drive by Freeman. He was rejected by Pinner, but foul called. Head coach Moynihan, happy finally that that foul has been called on those drives. Major Freeman at the line, he'll shoot two. First free throw, no good from Freeman, and that is a big miss. They need every bucket they can get down the stretch here. Down nine with under four minutes to go. Free throw opportunities will be clutch, and Freeman hits one of two. Cuts the deficit to eight. 71 63, 345 to go. Clater, full court pass to Pinner. Pinner gives it up, but gets it back. Looks to drive on Nichols, finds Carver. Carver rejected. And Marshall pokes it away on the other end. Fourth foul on Marshall. Stags at the line. 
one and one opportunity. Hits the first. And these are opportunities that the Pioneers need to take advantage of. With 334 left, points without the clock running are huge for the Pioneers down the stretch here as Staggs hits both free throws, cuts the deficit down to six. Richardson checked in at that last dead ball. Able to break that pressure. Clater, cross court pass in the wing to Marshall. Marshall gives it up to Pinner towards half court. Pinner hands it off to Corey Richardson. Richardson gets a screen, looks to drive. Baseline, excuse me, in the paint. Scoop layup, no good. Almost like a hook shot layup, no good. Leads to a run out on the other end. And that bucket is good. And that cuts the deficit to four. 2.58 to go here in the second half. Sea Devils up four. Pioneers continue to fight in this game. Be right back live from the Joe and Barbara Schwartz Center, your home of the Sea Devils. Sea Devils up 71-67. Big offensive possession here. Pinner looks to drive. Kicks it out to Carver. Gotta imagine Cape Fear will try to eat clock here and get a good shot. Clater with it. Try want it in his hands offensively. Drives. Nice find to Richardson and the bucket. Give the assist to Truman Clater on the drive, able to find Richardson cutting baseline. Deep three on the other end is good by Staggs. Cuts the deficit to three. Big bucket by Tacoby Staggs. That'll be a full timeout, so we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back with the final 224 of the second half. Sea Devils basketball in the hands of Truman Clater. Loose ball out of bounds. Possession will stay with the Sea Devils. Inbound goes to Richardson. 15 on the shot clock, 2.08 on the game clock. Richardson with it. 
Kicks it out. Marshall with it. Seven, five, four. Lauder hanging floater. No good, but an offensive rebound and put back by Avion Pinner. One forty-five to go. Stags another three. No good, but an offensive board by Nichols. Nichols with it. Corey Richardson rolled his ankle. He'll have to come out. Moses Tufts checks in for Corey Richardson. Jacoby Staggs will inbound for the Pioneers. 75-70, 137 to go here in the Inbound goes to Freeman. Freeman almost loses it. Gives it up. Drive. Floater. Can't get the bucket to fall, but that'll be a foul on Truman Clater. That's his third foul. And that'll send number 14, Isaiah Porter, to the line to shoot two. Couldn't ask for a better situation for the Pioneers. First free throw is good, four point lead for Cape Fear. Second free throw coming from Porter. Hits it. Inbound goes to Pinner. Pinner drives. Floater. Got it. Plus the foul. Avion Pinner showing up big in the second half for Cape Fear. And he only played a couple minutes in the first half. Showing up big time here in the second half for Cape Fear. Minute 23 to go and a chance to extend that lead up over five. The made free throw here and he does that. And that is just the third different player for Cape Fear to attempt a free throw here this afternoon. Only nine attempted free throws by the Sea Devils here in this game. 115 to go, six point game. Floater is good, Isaiah Porter. Big bucket there, cuts the deficit back down to four. As this is a back and forth game, the Pioneers not going anywhere. Full timeout called by head coach Moynihan. We'll take a break and we'll be right back with the final minute 10 of this game. Sea Devils basketball, full court pressure comes and they break it with ease to Pinner, just over half court. Pinner dribbles and gives it up to Noah Carver on the right wing, who in turn gives it up to Richardson. 
Corey Richardson back to Truman Clater. Clater looks to drive, guarded by Porter. Pulls up right in front of Porter, can't hit the jumper, but a rebound by Hudson, excuse me. Freeman gives it up to Porter. And it's thrown out of bounds. Tough break there for Cape Fear as Truman Clater trying to find Corey Richardson there, throws it out of bounds. And you couldn't have a more costly turnover at that time. 45 seconds to go. Daniel Lubamba will check in for Truman Clater as Cape Fear was up by six with just over a minute and a half to go. Now up only two and the Pioneers with the basketball. Defense by Carver almost takes it away. Drive and finish by Major Freeman. That'll tie the game. And Freeman will have a chance to give the Pioneers their first lead here of the second half with just under 40 seconds to go. 78-78. Major Freeman at the line, and Major Freeman in this second half has shown you why this young man is one of the top scorers in Region 10. And a one-point lead for Spartanburg Methodist, 39.2 left. We'll stay put in Cape Fear basketball out of the break. Welcome back, Sea Devils basketball down one. 35 seconds left. About a six, eight second difference in shot clock and game clock. And looking at some of these second half numbers, Major Freeman has 14 second half points for the Pioneers. Deep three is good. Aviad Pinner has come alive in the second half. Give the assist to Corey Richardson. Big bucket for AP, as he has done all his damage here in the second half, and none bigger than that bucket right there to put the Sea Devils up to 81-79, 20 seconds to go. We'll stay put. Sea Devils will play some defense and see if they can get one stop here to end the game. Twenty seconds to go. Porter will get the inbound. Porter with it, guarded by Marshall. 
Dribble handoff to Freeman. A lot of contact, but Freeman gets around the corner, drives, and finishes. 10.9 to go. Pinner inbounds to Carver. Eight seconds, seven seconds. Carver with it. And an offensive foul called on Noah Carver with 5.2 to go. Carver a little too aggressive there on the drive. 5.2 seconds to go. And a timeout called by the Pioneers. We'll stay put. On the court for Cape Fear, Khalil Marshall, Moses Tufts, Truman Clater, Noah Carver, Avion Pinner. On the court for the Pioneers, inbounding will be to Kobe Skaggs, Krishan Ori. That's a wild pass and a turnover to the Sea Devils. I'm not sure what Skaggs was thinking there, or if that was the play drawn up by head coach Moynihan, but. There's about seven different guys that jumped for that ball under the bucket. Tufts will inbounds. Inbound to Marshall, three, two, finds Clater. Clater, pull up, rejected by Nichols. And that was huge. What a block by Jawan Nichols. And that'll force an extra period as we head to overtime. 81, 81, we'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. Five more minutes of basketball here live from the Joe and Barber Schwartz Center. And we'll tip it off here. Avion Pitter and Jawan Nichols will tip for overtime. Nichols wins it, but Truman Clater comes down with it. Corey Richardson with it. Guarded by Staggs. Avion Pinner with it on the right wing. Gives it up to Tufts. Tufts with it out to Marshall. Marshall back to Pinner. Pinner drives. Gets right around his defender. That'll be a foul. On Porter. Isaiah Porter called for the foul. Avion Pinner will be at the line to shoot two. Both teams will be in the double bonus, it looks like. Ten fouls for both sides. 439 to go here in the first overtime. Pinner at the line. First free throw in and out for Avion Pinner. And still Pinner, just the one of three players to attempt a free throw here this afternoon for Cape Fear. Pinner hits the second. One of two at the line 
goes Pinner and gives the Sea Devils a one point lead, 4.35 to go. Krishan Ori brings it up, gives it up to Porter. Porter guarded by Clater, drives left in the paint, kicks it out, Ori, corner three, no good, loose ball, rebounded by Moses Tufts. Head coach Mark Lane telling his guys to run, but they'll slow it down as Corey Richardson has it, guarded by Krishan Ori. Kicks it cross court, back towards the half court line to Marshall. Marshall drives, kicks it out to Tufts. Tufts pump fake, kicks it out, pinner wide open, top of the key three, no good. Off of Corey Richardson, had it in his hands for the offensive rebound, couldn't control it out of bounds. Possession to the Pioneers. As Corey Richardson will check out, Noah Carver checks in, under four minutes to go in overtime. Sea Devils up 82-81. Little two-man game, dribble handoff. Freeman with it in the paint, has it stripped away. Good defense from Marshall. Pinner stays on him, challenges the shot out of bounds. Possession. Looked like that was grabbed by Major Freeman, but called out of bounds prior to him grabbing it. 10 seconds left in the shot clock. Stags will inbound. Finds Porter wide open and no one grabbed him. And that'll give the Pioneers a one point lead. Back and forth here to start overtime. Carver with it on the right wing. Gives it up to Pinner, top of the key. Pinner will drive, gets by Nichols and finishes Avion Pinner has come alive in the second half in overtime, has been huge for Cape Fear in the second half of this game. Ori loses possession on the way up but throws it up, gets, the, gets it off the rim and then is rejected by Tufts. Tufts with the block. And Carver chases it down. Clater, corner three, no good. Offensive rebound, Avion Pinner. Marshall almost loses it, but Avion Pinner picks up the loose ball. Six seconds left of the shot clock. Marshall for three, no good, but another offensive rebound by Moses Tufts. Marshall 0 for 3 from deep. Cape Fear 84, Spartanburg Methodist 83. Two thirty to go in overtime. Halfway through this first overtime period, Spartanburg Methodist down one. Noah Carver at the line. He'll shoot two. Carver just the fourth different player for Cape Fear to attempt a free throw in this game. First free throw is good. Substitution for the Pioneers. Out goes Nichols. In comes Hudson. On the court for the Pioneers, Chris Sean Ori, Kalon Hudson, Isaiah Porter, Takobi Staggs, and Hudson with the tip in is good. And Major Freeman on the court for Cape Fear, Khalil Marshall, Avion Pinner, Truman Clater, Moses Tufts, and Noah Carver. Marshall with it, looks to drive on Hudson, kicks it out to Pinner. 12 on the shot clock, Clater with it. Tries to hop step, but he'll be called for the travel. As he tried to get through that contact, but called for the travel, and that'll be a turnover by Cape Fear. Turnovers starting to add up for Cape Fear. 16 turnovers now in this game. A minute 50 to go. Major Freeman with it, drives, kicks it out. That's a block on Avion Pinner. Fourth foul on Pinner. 
And that'll send Major Freeman to the line to shoot two. Freeman hits the first free throw, and that'll tie the game at 86. Minute 46 to go. Corey Richardson will check in for Cape Fear. And he's still visibly jogging with a limp. He'll check in for Moses Tufts. Second free throw is good. Two big free throws made there by Major Freeman. Minute 40 to go. Drive from Carver, kicks it out to Clater. Clater finds Pinner. Pinner drives, goes right at the rim and is fouled hard on the attempt. Pinner will go to the line to shoot two with Cape Fear down one. 127 to go here. Clock will be stopped for these free throws from Avion Pinner. First free throw from Pinner is good. Nothing but net from Avion Pinner. Second free throw from Pinner is good. Two clutch free throws from Avion Pinner, who they call AP has come on in this second half in overtime for Cape Fear. He has been big offensively for the Sea Devils over the final 25 minutes of this game. Krishan Ori finds Staggs. Staggs gets the roll over Pinner. Back to a one-point lead for the Pioneers. Carver with it. Back to Pinner. Back to Carver. Carver guarded by Major Freeman, gets the screen, looks to drive, picked up by Hudson, out to Clater. Clater for three, no good. Long rebound to Ori. Clater now three of 11 from three. Was on fire for a little bit early in the second half, but has gone cold since. Pioneers up one. Porter with the drive, finds Hudson and the finish. Pioneers up three, 35 seconds to go, 33-32, and Marshall will call timeout. Ed Coach Mark Lane wants to talk it over, 31 seconds to go. We'll stay put for the final 31 of overtime. Sea Devils down, 88-91, 31 seconds to go here live from the Joe and Barbara Schwartz Center. Sea Devils basketball on the court for Cape Fear. Avion Pinner, Truman Clater will inbound. Corey Richardson, Khalil Marshall, and Noah Carver. Major Freeman will guard Corey Richardson on the court for the Pioneers. Richardson with it, looks to drive, picks up his dribble, gives it up to Carver. Carver with it, kicks it out to Richardson. Richardson drives, back out to Carver. Pump fake, three, no good, rebound Pioneers, they're gonna need to foul, and finally they do. Seven seconds to go. And Carver had a good look at it, and he's been on fire late, but unfortunately can't hit that three. Now four of 
seven from deep, excuse me, yes, four of seven from deep. And no bigger miss than that one for Noah Carver. I know he's not happy with himself there. Had a good open look. Hudson's first free throw is good. Pushes the lead up to four. Now a two possession lead for the Pioneers. Second free throw, good. Pushes the lead up to five. Timeout called by head coach Moynihan. Take a quick break and we'll be right back. Final seven seconds of overtime. Pinnerel inbound, tries a full court pass to Richardson, steps out of bounds and that may do it. Richardson tried to save it inbounds, unable to do so on that sore ankle and that'll do it. Pioneers will run it out and that's the final here, 93-88, the final here from the Joe and Barbara Schwartz Center. We'll take a quick break and we'll give you a full game recap when we come back. I'm your voice of the Sea Devils, Elijah Mize. Cape Fear loses a tough one in overtime, 93-88. Pioneers get out of here with a big overtime win. That'll look good for their record going forward as they try to jump back into the top four of the conference standings. But Cape Fear loses a heartbreaker really as they were in control for most of this game. But it wasn't until late in that second half where Pioneers were able to come back and force overtime. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. Post game recap, yours truly, Elijah Mize.
And welcome back here live from the Joe and Barber Schwartz Center, your home of the Cape Fear Sea Devils. Heartbreaking loss here tonight in overtime for Cape Fear. They dominated most of this game, controlled this game for about, I'd say, the first 35 minutes of game action. It wasn't until Spartanburg Methodist really went on a run late in the second half and was able to force overtime. Cape Fear had a couple opportunities late to win it, just unable to hit those shots. And for Spartanburg Methodist, credit them and head coach Patrick Moynihan as they were able to hit big shots when they needed and get big stops when they needed. They were led by a combination of both Major Freeman, who had basically, I'd say, close to his 20 points. Most of those came in the second half. He only had about four, excuse me, Major Freeman only had three points at the half. So 17 of his 20 came in the second half. And that right there shows you why that young man's one of the better scorers in Region 10 and second on that team, averaging over 15 a game. 17 of those 20 came in the second half. And for overall for Spartanburg Methodist, they had five guys score 15 or more points, excuse me, 14 or more points, led by that 20 from Major Freeman. They had 14 from Kalon Hudson, 18 from Isaiah Porter. And for Isaiah Porter, all 18 of those points, most of those came in the second half as well for Porter as he had 16 of those 18 came in the second half for Isaiah Porter. To Kobe Staggs, 15 points. Dewan Nichols, 18 points. And for Nichols, he was the story in the first half. Cape Fear did not have an answer for him in the paint. He had 12 of those 18 points in the first half, only six in the second. And for Spartanburg Methodist, they were able to control the turnovers a little better in the second half. They finished the game with close to 20 turnovers, I believe 17 total. And honestly, 14 of those came in the first half for Spartanburg Methodist. But overall, Cape Fear loses a close one once again at home. Final score, 93 to 88. And on the Cape Fear side, another Solid outing from Corey Richardson. He stuffs the stat sheet once again, 11 points, six rebounds, and four assists. Team high scorer for Cape Fear, Truman Clater, 19 points. Noah Carver, 17 points. And I know Noah Carver is going to look back at this game and be mad at himself that he wasn't able to hit that three to tie the game there at the end of overtime. But Noah Carver was a big reason why this game went into overtime. And I'd also have to say Avion Pinner, huge game from AP, finished with 17 points. All 17 of those points came in the second half, finished with 17 points, five rebounds for Avion Pinner. Picked up two early fouls in the first half and wasn't able to play more than just a couple minutes in that first half. But he came out hot in the second half and all 17 of those points he scored were in the second half and in overtime. But for Cape Fear, looking ahead, Cape Fear now, as their schedule goes, they will try to bounce back. Another home game they have here. Excuse me, they will be on the road at Brunswick next Wednesday. They will play Brunswick Community College. Then back home here again on March 1st. Next Friday, they will host Richard Bland and try to get back in the win column when they head to Brunswick. That'll be a big matchup for the Sea Devils. They fall to 14-9 and nine overall, 8-6 and six in conference. And for Spartanburg Methodist, one of their bigger wins here over the last month. Looking forward, looking at their schedule. They will be heading home, it looks like. Excuse me, no, they will be heading to Brunswick tomorrow. Brunswick County matchup, and then they'll head home for a matchup with Denmark Tech on Tuesday the 27th, and then another home game against Gaston College on March 2nd. But for Spartanburg Methodist, they pick up a much needed win. They'll go to six and seven in conference play and 16 and 11 overall, take that win streak to two straight, and that away record now six and three for the Pioneers. But that'll do it here live from the Joe and Barbara Schwartz Center. 
I'm your voice of the Sea Devils, Elijah Mize. Don't forget to follow the Sea Devils Athletics at Go Sea Devils on Twitter, Instagram, and you can follow Cape Fear Athletics on Facebook. Give them a follow on all those social media pages as well as visit GoSeaDevils.com for any stats or schedule updates for anything Cape Fear Athletics related. Don't forget to give me a follow as well at SportsGuyEli on Twitter. That'll do it. Sea Devils lose a close one, 93-88. That's the final in overtime. We'll catch you again next week for the next broadcast. Have a good night.